Uh, let's meet uh, Alan Kibngeno, a student at the University of Kabianga, who is about to take the world by storm with his groundbreaking invention, a homemade helicopter. Join us live as we delve into the mind of his visionary and explore the innovation behind his remarkable achievement. Okay, my name is Alan Kipneno, mm -hmm. currently a fourth-year student at the University of Kabianga, pursuing mm -hmm. agricultural education and extension. Thank you so much. Today we are getting you from Belgood Constituents, is it? Yes. I know it has been a long journey beginning this project of yours. Maybe there's something that has been motivating you. Maybe you can explain to us, to the listeners who are watching live from wherever they are. Can you uh, explain to us how did you come up with your project? <coughs> Okay, immediately I was drew with my fo um, form for education. I managed to join uh, academic writing. Uh, when I enrolled to uh, academic writing, most of the assignments I used to do was academic writing was aeronautical engineering where I, I used to enroll the typing of the academic writing, which mm -hmm. was from students from Dubai and Qatar. That is yeah. why I found the entire concept of making helicopters. Wow, that's great. Uh, do you have any experience working with helicopter technology or other aircraft? I don't have any much concept about yes. helicopters. Uh -huh. Of course you are a student, but then you have been having that uh, that ideas on, on uh, helicopters, uh, yeah, is yeah. it? I got the, most of the concept from uh, social media platforms yes. and academic writing. Yeah, I can see your project here as a, as a variety of applications of physics, like that. Yeah, because I, I don't think a biology student can come up with this. How do you plan to use your knowledge in science and engineering to uh, enhance your helicopter project? Okay, what I can talk about is that uh, most of the most of the skills and entailing uh, making of a helicopter is uh, aerodynamics, mm -hmm. and uh, the first thing I'm going to enroll in it is uh, once it, it's going to be successful, I'm going to use it in, uh, for example, in big farms for spraying. Yes, and uh, maybe transportation, Very commercially. Good. Uh, does it mean that uh, you are fixed or you are rigid in Kenya or you can work with different uh, different countries across the world? Each country is uh, actually developing in its technology. I won't be fixed into one country. I'll just be that social, not rigid into only one country. Okay, yeah. At least you need to be very flexible. You can work with different parts of the country in the world. That's a very great idea. And now you are going to become a very big man, I, we suppose. That is it. In what ways do you envision your helicopter? Innovation bringing positive changes to the society or a particular sector. Like the way you have said that you want to begin your project, like it can be serving some uh, smaller farms, large farms like that. That's what I, I'm asking about. Okay, what I can talk about the envision is that uh, uh, mo most of the people are living be below the poverty line. Yes. And uh, the two ways of improving the economy so far is either agriculture or innovation. Yeah. So I opted for uh, innovation because uh, in one way or the other, it's going to manage uh, to improve the living standards of the youth and also it is going to create some job opportunities for the youth. Okay, that uh, that's a very nice response. Maybe if I can add you a, a, another question on top of that. What support do you need from the university, your community, or from the country, from the government? The side, the sector which I have passion for is uh, aeronautical engineering. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only support I can request from the, uh, from the campus is that uh, in case there is a student who has passion for a particular field, I think the campus should provide uh, some scholarship mm -hmm. so that the students may study uh, abroad and uh, get enough skills to pursue what he or she loves. So if you get a scholarship, you can do better than this? In case I get a scholarship, I'm going to do better than this because so far so good. With the local available materials, I tried this with a low amount of knowledge. This is what I made. Yeah. I know the government of Kenya really supports these innovation projects. So soon I know you are going to be captured among those lists of those one who are going to be sponsored. And that is our wish as we wish you all the best. May God bless you so much. Thank you.